For the additional problems on your 4-5 notebook sheet, I will work these out. Feel free to work along with me or pause the video and try to work them out yourself and then check your answer. For this problem, 6.5 and 8.7, and um, these two are written in scientific notation and we're multiplying them right here. And so I can just multiply 6.5 and 8.7 and then work with the uh, exponents on the 10. And when we're multiplying powers with the same base, in this case 10, we can add the exponents. So 12 plus negative 15 is negative 3. And then if I bring up my calculator and type in 6.5 times 8.7, I get 56.55. So 56.55. And so really the only trick with multiplication of scientific notation is that you have to worry about your answer being less than 10 and greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, I have to rename it to 5.655 to make sure that I have a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. But because I moved it back one space, I helped out this negative 3 by moving this one back one space. And so I'm going to take away 1 from that by making it 10 to the negative second power. The one right below it is a division problem. And again, you can just worry about dividing the two numbers here and then subtracting the exponents with the tens. So we have 10 to the negative fifth power. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. And if I take on my calculator 2.3958 divided by 1 point, not, oops, sorry about that, 2.3958 divided by 1.98, we get 1.21. So 1.21 already fits my greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 rule. So my answer is simply 1.21 times 10 to the fifth. Jumping down to 2.3 times 10 to the negative 3 squared, that just means I'm going to take 2.3 times 10 to the negative 3 times 2.3 times 10 to the negative 3. I'm going to take it times itself. Okay, so we have a negative 3 and a negative 3, sorry, this looks like a division problem. It's not a division problem. We're multiplying. So we get 10 to the negative 6. That's actually looking ahead to another rule with exponents. When you have a power raised to the power, you actually multiply. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then we're going to take 2.3 times 2.3. So 2.3 times 2.3 is 5.29. And since 5.29 is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, our final answer is 5.29 times 10 to the negative 6. I'm going to jump over here to this other multiplication problem with scientific notation. I'm going to take 3.807 times 5 to get 19.035. 19.035. And then 10 to the third and 10 to the second would be 10 to the fifth. We're going to add those exponents. 19 is greater than 10, so I'm going to put the decimal here and make it 1.9035. And because I moved it back one here, whoops, I moved that decimal back one, I'm going to have to add a new decimal to another exponent uh, to my 5 to make that 10 to the sixth power. Okay. Finally, we have a division problem. 8.8 .8 divided by 4 is 2.2. And then we have 3 minus a negative 4, which would be 3 plus 4. So that's 10 to the seventh. These problems were all taken from the algebra book. So computing with scientific notation is definitely something you will see again. Um, adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing, they each have their own little um, things to pay attention to. We'll practice this some more in class, but please make sure and ask questions if you uh, aren't getting it.